Go Astros, a focus on H-Town Hardball. State line, April 8th. My brother Tim is at Astros opening day. Uh, I know you shot some video for us, Tim. And before we get to the video, real quick, what's it like to be home? Man, um, I didn't think it was being emotional. I didn't think like that. But as soon as you get in there and see the, the park lit and all the fans out there and, and just – it's amazing. It's great to be back, and it's, so far it's a great game. So, um, you know, real quick, um, I know it's only about half capacity. They said about 21,000. Does it feel that empty, or does it feel full? You know, it's funny. Uh, my sister-in-law is the one that got me the ticket. She surprised me, and, and I, I totally written off going, as, as you know, from, from two episodes ago. Um, and as we were, as we we're walking through, we grabbed a beer. Like, does it feel hot to you? Does it feel like there's a lot of people? And she's trying to remind me that there's usually that we're elbow to elbow and you can't breathe. But so, yeah, it was, it was taking that in perspective. It feels empty almost. It's, it's weird. You have plenty of room to walk. You can breathe. Um, uh, you know, the, where we're sitting right now, we're kind of close together. But, yeah, it, it feels empty. It's definitely a different vibe. It's almost like five years ago. All right, we'll take real quick, Tim. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at what you saw. Okay, man. Here we go. Astros home opener in 2021 was like none that I've been to before. As we walked out of the ride chair onto Crawford Street, the once vibrant festival was now reduced to one tent and a lone sign welcoming back fans to the hollowed grounds they had not stepped foot on in a year and a half. I approached the field as I did many times over the last 20 plus years, but the realization that this year and a half was the longest these loyal fans and myself have endured since last enjoying a game at our home away from home. A year and a half that brought tragedy and loss to so many and fear and uncertainty to all. Maybe this is the best medicine that anyone could ask for. Being with friends and seeing places and things that meant so much to us all for so long. Sure, it's just a baseball park and sure, it's just a game. But at that point, more than ever, it was the most important place to be for a lot of people. Walking to the familiar spots and seeing the pro shops where we've all visited so many times, see our favorite eating spots, and finally making it to my favorite bar. After grabbing a delicious beer, the taste of which only happens in a few places in the world, we finally head to our seats, ready for what we were all been waiting for. But then, it was time. The wait was finally over. The hometown nine were taking the field. As the night starter, Christian Javier, set to face his first batter, I realized that this was also a huge day for him. It was the first time he had pitched in Minute Maid Park in front of the hometown crowd after being called up in the 2020 season with no fans, and the first time he had pitched a home opener, and he didn't disappoint. The Astros are in great form, excited to put a show on for the fans that stuck by them through thick and thin. Now I wish I could show you more footage of the bigger moments of the game but I made a point to put the camera down, grab a couple Crawford box, and enjoy the evening. Take it in, chew with my fellow fans, and complain when people for some reason still did the wave. Thanks to my future sister-in-law, I was able to keep my tradition alive. Another magical opening day with these Houston Astros. So until next time, grab a friend, family member, head out to a ball game, grab a hot dog and a beer, and appreciate that we are able to do this magical thing again. Go out, 
enjoy some baseball in any and all forms. Thanks for watching and go Astros. Well, Tim, I, I, I'll be honest. Um, I'm so excited that you're A, there. Uh, I could tell when we did do our last segment that I was going to bum you out not to be there. And thanks so much for sharing your glimpse of opening day with us. Man, it's my pleasure. Anything for you guys. Um, it's great to be back. It's great to have baseball back. It's great to watch it live. Um, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough to find one of my – to be here with one of my uh, – you know, Christian Javier, who is his first time pitching in front of the live audience in Houston. And – He's doing great, and uh, it's great to be. It's great to be here.